Let's quickly set up a working kickstream using Streamlabs. So just start on streamlabs.com and just click on download Streamlabs desktop and open up Streamlabs desktop. And if you're prompted to log in, you can actually just press skip. And if it asks you to log out, just press log out. So now let's set up our stream and link it to kick. Underneath main scenes, I'm going to press the plus button. I've named mine gameplay scene. This is going to show our display and our camera. I'll press done. Underneath sources, I'll click the plus button. We'll start by adding our computer screen. That's a display capture. So I'll click on add source. I'll pretend I don't have one. So I'll add new source instead. Give it a name. I'll just leave mine on display capture one. Press add source. And then from the display list, find the correct display. Make sure you capture cursor and press done. Let's now add in our camera as well. Press the plus button again, video capture device, add source, add new source instead, give it a name and press add source. Now mine's not actually showing because it's in use by OBS, but I recommend what you do is change the resolution FPS type to custom. Make sure the resolution is on 1920 by 1080, FPS 30 or 60 if your camera does it. All of the other settings should be fine, so you can go ahead and add the source. If you want to move around either the display or the camera, you can just click on the relevant source and then drag it to move it around. If you ever want to crop, you just hold Alt and then you drag the squares like this to crop it. Once you're happy, lock both the camera and the display capture in place. We now need to make sure our audio is added. So in the bottom left corner, I'm going to click settings. I'm going to click onto audio. Underneath desktop audio device one, I'm going to add my speakers, which is my cloud to wireless. Underneath mic, I've added my quadcast microphone. If we head into the video settings, these are great streaming settings for kick. And if I head into output, 6K bitrate with an NVIDIA hardware encoder is great. Let's press done for now. And just underneath our microphone, I'm going to press the settings icon. Now, unfortunately, my Streamlabs is slightly bugged. But if you look underneath the microphone in the mix in the bottom right, press the settings icon. There should for you be a filter button. And I recommend that you add a noise suppression filter called RN noise. So you go ahead and do that. I can't show you because sadly it's bugged for me. Anyway, let's now link ourselves with kick. So I'm going to press the settings icon. We're going to click on stream. Underneath stream type, I'm going to go custom streaming server. And we're going to head to kick. And in the top right corner, I'm going to click creator dashboard after clicking on my profile picture. Underneath settings, I'm going to click onto stream key. I'm going to copy the server URL. We'll go back into these settings and replace this one. Then I'm going to copy this stream key and we're going to paste this into the empty stream key box. I'm now just going to press done. And now all you have to do to go live is press go live in the bottom right corner. If you want to add alerts, I'll put my OBS guide on screen now, but you can just adapt this for Streamlabs by adding sources here and using the browser source option. 